Who's the hottest team in England right now? These guys right here. The Donnies. How's it going? Tom Franklin from the other side of the Atlantic here. Uh, first ever I follow game for me watching this game from start to finish as they demolished Accrington Stanley four to nil today. And it really was a demolition from start to finish today. Accrington Stanley never looked like they were in the races at all. And all four goals that Doncaster scored were just amazing works of art. Good teamwork, good link up play. Starting with the very first goal to Adelaken from Oluwu, my man, Joseph Oluwu, my favorite Donnie Rover, and that will not change. I don't care if uh, Adelaken scores 100 goals. Uh, Joseph Oluwu, uh, after meeting him last week after the game, top guy, top quality guy, and he has really made that uh, defensive position his own after the uh, Tom Anderson suspension. By the way, good to see him back as well later on today. But Oluwu, Finding the deep ball to Adelaken uh, for the first goal of the game, really kind of something out of nothing, just good vision by Oluwu to find Adelaken, who you know does what he does. Um, and then just uh, throughout the game here, um, everyone really put in a good shift today. Like there was no one. I mean, Lotatala had nothing to do um, all game, basically. It was uh, an easy day at the office for him, for sure, because it was all Doncaster. Donnie with about 60% of the possession in this game game as I'm looking at some of the stats on my phone right now. Uh, two and a half uh, e uh, XG, um, 16 shots, seven on target. Really strong play today. Um, and then Adelaken, he can do more than just uh, score. He can also dish the ball. Um, really doing a great job in the 21st minute, scrambling for a loose ball. And then Ironside with a Brilliant run into the box, uh, getting in there and uh, getting uh, his, I believe, 20th goal of the season. Very strong uh, from him as well. And then really, again, Stanley never looked like they were in the races at all. Uh, they kept a foot on the pedal. Don, Donnie did. James Maxwell, brilliant feed from uh, Westbrook to find Maxwell in the box. A nice finish there. As I said on Twitter, Maxwell does well. And I'm glad to see he has signed that contract to stay a Donnie Rover. A lot of players signing contracts to remain in Doncaster. You'll love to see it. The vibes are uh, the vibes are, are good in Doncaster lately. That is for sure. And then, of course, Owen Bailey, the Jordy, uh, the uh, Jordy Rodri, as you guys call him, getting the uh, fourth goal on a nice feed from Molyneux as well, who had a really good game. Like, he had a goal called back uh, because he was off sides, which was the right call. But, uh, uh, again, everyone for Donnie had a brilliant shift today. Um, you know, it's full time just uh, going on my phone here. I had to start recording here because I have to be somewhere right after this. But uh, four nil win for the Rovers today. And uh, what looked like an absolute impossibility, even as recently as maybe even a couple weeks ago, is almost it, it, I want to say probable, but it's starting to feel like playoffs for Donnie. Uh, one point back of Crawley right now, who lost today. Wimbledon lost today. Um, so, yeah, Doncaster are in eighth right now. They are one spot off the playoffs, one point off the playoffs. And um, with the way that they're playing, I don't see a reason why they can stop. I mean, they have uh, they have Barrow next weekend, which is going to be a tough test. They're in sixth right now. In fact, actually, if Donnie beat Barrow, that would put them both at 67 points. And uh, Barrow would still have probably the goal advantage there. But... Um, yeah, just an excellent game today for everyone for the Rovers. Uh, Adelaide gets my man of the match only because I have to give it to someone. And he did have the goal and he did have the assist. And he looked like his usual uh, dangerous self today. I don't know if there's a way that you can keep uh, Adelaide in Doncaster after this season. I mean, I know he's on loan from Lincoln. And I'm sure Lincoln's taken notice of his great performance for uh, Doncaster. So I'm not sure if there's a way you can keep him from returning to Lincoln, uh, either a loan extension or, you know, a possible transfer. But, uh, yeah, do what you can to keep this guy in a in a Rovers uh, kit, you know, for the immediate future. But, uh, yeah, 
It started as a nightmare. It's ending in a dream. Come on, Rovers. Big win today. And uh, let's keep the momentum going. I'm going to do a video on my channel, by the way. I have a YouTube channel myself. Uh, it's called uh, Soccer Zombie. Uh, you can just uh, search Soccer Zombie on YouTube, and I'll be there. And um, I'm going to be on the I'm, – I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I have a uh, little under 150 left to go. So if you check me out, please smash that subscribe button, especially if you're a Rovers fan. You're probably a Rovers fan watching. Watching this, I'm going to do a video on the Rovers meteoric rise in League Two sometime next week, and I want you to be involved in that. If you have, if you want to record yourself just saying something positive about the Rovers, um, you know why you're a fan of the Rovers, and maybe um, what you think of this team's rise, and whether or not you could be in League One next year, feel free to send me a clip of that. Um, SoccerZombieSTL at gmail.com. I'll get it into the video next week but I'm hoping to do that video sometime towards the back half of uh, next week around Thursday or Friday. But y'all, thanks for hosting me on your, uh, on your channel today. And uh, uh, I'm Rovers Till I Die. This is your soccer zombie, Tom Franklin. And uh, uh, I'll see you next time.